Hi, my name's Tom, and today I'm going to talk to you about ions and free radicals. So, first of all, ions. Well, we have an atom, and it becomes an ion, but how does this happen? Sorry? How does this happen? Well, it's either gained, gained, or lost electrons. And this that there are two types of ions. There are the negative ions and the positive ions. Negative ions we call anions and positive ions we call cations. An example of a negative ion is Cl- and this has gained an electron whereas the positive ion, for example a sodium ion, this has lost an electron. So I hope you can see the the relationship between, between those. Um, ions are created in a process called ionization. Uh, ionization can happen in single atoms or in atoms within a molecule. Uh, so I'll just do a, a brief example. If we had a carboxyl group and we had a an amino group and we saw this, we would see this plus a hydrogen ion and then here plus the hydrogen ion we would get N, NH3 plus. Okay, so that's an example of ionization. Next I want to talk about free radicals. Free radicals. <coughs> um, free radicals are unstable stable and highly reactive. Um, an important thing to know here also is that they react by oxidation. Okay, it's important to know. Um, so there are some good things and some bad things that free radicals can do. Some good, um, well, white blood cells, types of white blood cells can, um, uh, well, they, they have free radicals which help destroy pathogens by removing electrons from, uh, for example, the pathogen cell membrane or something like that. And so that helps us fight against disease. Uh, however, there's also the bad. Um, so if you're exposed to particular toxins or radiation, then this can lead to an increase in free radicals in your body, harmful free radicals, okay? And of course those destroy or damage damage body cells, which of course is bad, we don't want that. So what we can do is we can, actually we can stop this by antioxidants, because remember I said uh, that, uh, that free radicals react by oxidation, and antioxidants stop that oxidation. So wh what would normally happen, you'd have a free radical here and that would go and it would um, try to gain an electron. It would try to gain an electron from some atom, molecule, ion, whatever. Okay, But in the process of gaining that electron it's actually made this a free radical. And then of course it continues 
that makes that a free radical and, and these are becoming stable as they gain their electron so it it ends up oh sorry that arrow should go that way um, so you can see it ends up just being this great big chain and it's not good uh, because it can keep going and keep going keep going but if it hits an antioxidant this antioxidant can donate an electron but it doesn't go on um, to affect other atoms or ions or whatever so why is this well it's because it doesn't become it doesn't become a free radical like all the other ones were so it's not becoming a free radical when it donates that electron um, it can do that and it in turn of course um, it it stops that chain reaction of uh, destruction and it uh, ultimately saves us from from that harm so uh, and of some examples uh, vitamins C and E okay um, now if this if this is interesting you um, then maybe check out some of these this dot here just means it's a free radical and so these are biologically important um, this is a hydroxyl radical, this is a nitric oxide and that's a superoxide anion um, these are very important uh, biologically speaking we probably will encounter these later on in further modules or themes or whatever so yeah if, if, if you're interested now though go ahead and, and check some of these out and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.